Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well uh, and welcome back to a new video. So today's video is a full nursery tour of Oliver's nursery. Um, hopefully in the next week or so we should be cracking on with the painting and the decorating. Um, I have decided on the side of his cot, where his cot is, we are going to have some panelling and then all the same colour on that wall. And then on the side where he's got his drawers, we're going to just have that a nice sage green half wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it slightly more than half of a wall, like a three quarter wall, but we'll, do, we'll come to that bridge when we cross it. I think we'll go for half and then obviously if I think mm, we can go a little bit higher then we will do. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. And are you counting your fingers? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are your fingers? So yeah, I hope you enjoy your, this video. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Anyway, let's get into the video. So welcome to Oliver's bedroom and um, the first thing that you are greeted with is this beautiful rocking chair and then he's also got his elephant head, his favourite thing of all, his books um, and then his cuddly teddies. So we'll start off here. Um, so this chair is from Next. It's one of the best purchases I think I've made. I never had a rocking chair with the girls and I wish I did because it's so nice. So in an evening we will come upstairs, we'll cuddle up on here, we'll read a story and then we what we'll do is we used to rock him to sleep. Now he's such a good boy at going to bed. We have like a five to ten minute cuddle on here where we just have like kisses, rubbing our nose to each other and then I'll just put him awake in his bed. But it's still such a nice feature because it's somewhere where he knows it's bedtime, somewhere that I haven't got to walk around holding him. Um, so yeah, I really do love it. It is from Next, um, but it's so lovely i feel like it'll be in the family for years so i'll just show you from the side um it's just so nice you have to excuse the skirting boards the only thing is because it's on carpet it seems to move and it's rocked and hit the skirting boards i think that's things like have happened in the middle of the night um but we are having new skirting boards in here so please excuse and please excuse my throat, it is hay fever season, so it's attacking everything. So yeah, so that's his chair, and of course, he had to have his first Harrods teddy. Um, so Amelia got one. Darcy doesn't have one, but she has a mama's and papa's one. We always like to buy them, like a first teddy bear, like the first teddy bear, so... Uh, when we went down to London and I saw this and it was a little dog with a little patch on his eye, I thought, for my little boy, he has to have it. So he got that and that just sits on his chair and we do give it a little cuddle at night time just before bed. But that's where he lives. And then moving on to the elephant head. When I saw this, I was like, I've got to have it for some reason. When I was pregnant, I had an obsession with elephants. I was like, he needs everything elephant. So you will be coming past quite a few elephants. <laughs> um, and this is also from Next. It is honestly the nicest um, material. And I just, I think it just looks so nice. He's got like huge ears in his tusks and then his trunk. And it's so easy to like put to the wall because it's just on a little nail and obviously it just sticks out but I just think it makes a little bit difference um, as you can see we are testing some paints out so I think I really like this colour it's like an off-white can't actually remember the name of it it's downstairs um, and, but this green's just too dark I think it's just too dark for the bedroom what I'm looking for I'm looking for more of a sage green this is more like a I think it was like called rain 
no rainforest green but as you can see it's like quite dark and I want to keep it quite airy and light and calm for him don't want it like massively too two tone if that makes sense and then if we look up here we've also <coughs> excuse me so if you look up here we've got Oliver's collection of books but that collection is spreading really fast and we've had to put his, the rest of his books downstairs in his play box because they're just everywhere he picks them up and he walks around with them and he sits down and he reads them to himself and then for, I think it was either Christmas for his birthday, I can't remember, we bought him this little lion and I think he looks so cute, sat on there, chilling beside his books. Sometimes we get him down, he has a cuddle while we read it. Um, I've also got another shelf to come here, but I was waiting to see how high I was going to have the half wall. But I think it'll come to about, just where that over that colour, the green it'll come and I'm having it all the way down this side of the wall so yeah um, we'll have another shelf here and then obviously this is his reading corner and it's just somewhere he just loves he just loves to read which the girls didn't I still don't think they really do now but it's I think it's something you either love or you hate isn't it reading yeah they love it or hate it um, and these shelves are from Ikea, are they the spice racks? I think they are the spice racks and they're so cheap but they just look so effective and I just really do like them. Um, and then we've got his little monkey, um, is that a gorilla or is it a monkey? No it's definitely a monkey isn't it? Um, and his giraffe, now this monkey's from Ikea when we was around shopping ages ago he like picked it up and he did not want to put it back but it fits in really with his like safari animal theme um, and the giraffe is a surprise from Jack so I didn't want you know the ones that you can see and they're absolutely humongous and I thought you know because he's a little he's a little boy I don't want him to feel intimidated by this huge animal um, in his bedroom and people might think that's mad and go no it would have been absolutely fine. So uh, Jack got me this one and I love it so much. And it's from Amazon um, and he stands so well just leaning against Oliver's drawers. To be fair, Oliver doesn't really go near him. Um, he just kind of leaves him there. But the monkey, that definitely gets chucked around <laughs> quite a lot. So that's this side of the room. So let's move on to his changing station. Uh, his drawers and his pictures so these pictures are still one of the most nicest things I think I've ever bought I think I am going to switch up once his bedroom's decorated I'm definitely going to switch up the frames this was a um, a make do frame so these were just from Wilco's I think they were like one pound if that 75p the frame but I wanted them up just before Oliver was born um so I, and I couldn't find the size and I didn't want to wait online because I wanted to get him up so I like I think we put these up and within five days Oliver was born so that's definitely um needing to swap it up I think I might go for a nice like wood effect because I think that would really bring the bedroom together and give it a little bit more zam zing I don't know what kind of word but so we've got the giraffe which says stand tall and I love all the little quotes and then we have got the monkey which is like be happy and then we've got the giraffe and I love this one so much it says be yourself because absolutely that's who you need to be don't pretend to be somebody else because you are enough and I just love these and I can't wait till he's a little bit older and he understands the um he understands like the meaning of them and then we've got the rhino which says be gentle the lion be brave and the elephant be strong they're like the babies of they're not adults are they adult pictures they're like baby pictures so they were an absolute bargain off of ebay i will try and link everything that i've shown you today down below um 
and obviously if you do like this video I think I might do a organization and um, evening routine again an updated version of Oliver's evening routine so anyway there are the photos um, and then this is Oliver's little giraffe that sits on his changing table uh, this was from Mamas and Papas, um, and I love it so much. He's so fluffy, and it keeps him really entertained when I'm changing his bum because he'll just like bite him. That's why he looks a little bit scruffy on the end of his nose because he just likes to bite him. Little bugger. So that's from there. Um, his changing mat, which is the safari changing mat. I honestly like I'm obsessed with like the safari theme I love the animals uh, and the fact that he loves them as well just makes me so happy so I've made the right choices uh, so this is his changing mat it's padded it's so nice um can't actually remember the price of it but yeah again it's from mummas and Papas. they are the ultimate baby go-to place aren't they mamas and papas um so i do highly recommend most of the things that i've had the majority of the things um the customer service is fantastic as well so if you're ever thinking about buying something mamas and papas customer service is oh, 10 out of 10 if you've got any issues with any item uh so that's his changing mat and then over here are his nappy station so i like to just keep a couple out so you know if he needs changing in the middle of the night this was more when he was younger i wasn't having to like go through the drawers and pull everything out and make a lot of noise and try and wake him up um a lot more do you know what i mean like i didn't want to wake him up too much so i thought if they were here i would just be able to grab get him changed and get him back to sleep with a bottle so this little basket um I think this was Ikea. No, it wasn't. This was a pack of two, and that was from Primark. And I looked at them, and they match really well with the light wood on the on the like book stands. So I love that. Um, I can't remember where this was. I think I got it from a baby shower off my friend, and it's had sanitizer. So obviously every time I change his bum, I just pop some on and I, it's really good because you know if they have a poo or they have a little tiddle accident. So yeah, so it's really handy just to squirt some on a wet wipe and then just wipe it all down. So that's a really good idea. So I was really appreciated of this. I'll just move that over there. And then this is a wipes holder. I love this because obviously it just hides the wipes and not only that i hate the little bit that sticks on top it either comes off or you lose it and the dry out where these keep it nice and contained and i just think that to me looks nicer on the eye than maybe a pack of wipes on the side <laughs> um so and that was from ebay as well and this was from b m and this is a diffuser electric diffuser um and you literally just take the top off fill it up with water but do you know what it is brilliant for um you know when you've got a nasally child or a nasally toddler or baby a couple of drops in of olive oil and it just fills the room brilliant and you can get like calming oils and things like that it's just really really nice so don't put anything harsh in there so yeah and that's his like changing table and now on to his drawers. I'll be dead honest, when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, I am having a trio of drawers, cot and a wardrobe. I don't think they're practical. Now, we went into Mamas and Poppers and we did have a look and we actually ordered one, um, but we only paid a deposit on it. Um, but it was literally the, the width of this. And then obviously you had the changing table on top but I was like, what can you actually fit in there? Like, not a lot. I am an organised freak. I need space. I need everything to have a place. So these drawers, when I went into Ikea, I was like, oh my God, I need these because this is going to make my life so organised. So if we go over to the first drawer, 
we've got nappies in there second row we've got wipes and nappy bags this is his vest and jama drawer and then these have got like nail scissors his creams socks talc hats gloves scarf bibs uh swimwear so that's all kept in there so they're all the top ones and it's just so handy to be able to like refill the basket get a fresh pack of wipes it's just a game changer i just love the fact that everything that you need and reach in distance there's nothing worse than trying to change a baby and then looking for nappy bags and they're in a different drawer so yes i do highly recommend these and then we've got trousers in this one tops in this one keepsake stuff and nursery stuff so he's got everything in there i would show you but i need to put his uh, clothes away um and obviously his drawers are empty um, because we've done a massive load of washing over the last couple of days because the weather has been stunning so there's his tops and his jumpers the best thing for organization and i actually think they're quite easy on the eye i was going to change the handles but i kind of like them like that i do so let's move on to here this is just his nursery bag and one of his keepsake boxes which that needs to actually go in the attic now um we have also got his camera up here because his bed was originally here so as you walk through the door you would obviously see him straight away but this is an outside wall um and i don't know why but i just didn't like the thought he was on an outside wall so We've moved this cot on the other side, so hence why his camera's up here. So Jackie's going to move that. Um, it still reaches him in his cot. Um, I will be honest, I wouldn't recommend the BT. Um, well, this one that we've got. The camera's not fantastic on it. But now, Oliver is 17 months, it does the job. So that's just connected down there. There's another patch of the paint. Um, I, I do like that it's just good little, just to give it a little bit of warmth and then we've got this beautiful plaque and this was somewhere on Instagram a little something on this wall because I didn't want it to be playing um so that that and then we've got his blind so if we can just give you a closer look it's got these beautiful little stars on it and it's a really like soft cream just to go with his room and it's a blackout blind and this was from blinds to go which i cannot recommend them enough we've got them in our bedroom and the girls bedroom and there are the roman blinds if we move on to this side this is the cutest little idea so i think i got this off of pinterest so you turn the spice rack upside down and then it becomes a hanger so i normally just pop oliver's outfit that he's going to wear for the day on here but i just thought i would hang these up just to show you what it looks like so he's got his little dungarees and his little jacket but yeah i think it's just such a nice idea because it, it makes us organized in the morning especially when we're on the um nursery run and school run and i've got to go to work i can just you're right he's wearing them uh, and then up here, this is where the elephant obsession again. So this little light up, I can't remember what these are called. But yeah, they're a light up and we've just put low and then the year he was born. But the girls look like they've been playing with this. So that's better. Then just beside his cot, we've got this gorgeous basket, which... Um, I think, I can't remember if this was from Home Bargains or B&M but I saw it on somebody's stories and I went to our local B&M and we just, they didn't have them in stock and I was absolutely gutted because is it not the nicest thing? And it keeps his blankets in there but my lovely friend um, actually went to Chesterfield and um, nipped in to Home Bargains or B&M and picked it up for me this might be it make a little bit more sense now so oliver's drawers used to be here um so obviously hence why the mirror's there and the shelf is there uh, but i still don't think it actually looks too bad so he's caught um it'll be so much better when the green is across here um i don't know if i wanted it all round but i do feel like i might just have it on this wall just to give it some color 
and then on the wall behind me. Um, so Oliver's Cot from Smith's Toy Store on offer for around a hundred, I want to say about 130 pounds, which I thought was an absolute bargain because I didn't know what kind of cot to get. Hence, I wasn't having like a suite. Um, so obviously we got the drawers from Ikea, so I was like, I don't really know where to get a cot from. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, what an absolute bargain. And the fact it turns into a little bed as it gets older was just a win-win. So yeah, it's just a basic white cot. It's got the nice hump on the side. Um, and like I say, it's got three levels for him, which is on the bottom now. And it still frightens me because he is so tall. He's now like can lean quite far over. So I'm just not ready to put him in a bed. So the mirror is from Ikea. I love that because it matches his light. Um, the leaf is from eBay. His name, um, I got somebody to make that. It's so beautiful. I love the colour. Um, that's the kind of green that I'm going for. I may take that to like B and Q and see if they'll be able to colour match it, but make it a bit more chalky. So yeah, I love that. And then he has his little shelf. Um and it's got his fox and obviously his elephant. And I just love this. I got actually this from work. You are so loved, little one. And had an elephant on, so I couldn't not buy it. And then my grandma for Christmas, bless her, bought Oliver his first money box which is full to the brim, but I have just not had time, or should I say, I don't feel like I've had time to actually open him up a bank account. We've got all his money, and we really need to get it a bank account so we can start putting it in. And then these shelves were from Ikea too. I feel like it's Ikea, Ikea haul. And then we went to a little market, and it had a little stand. We bought him one of these little rainbows, but I feel like I could, I would have wanted something just to hang here, like with little animals on like a nice neutral color. Um, but I can't find anything yet, but I will keep looking. And then the last thing that is in Oliver's bedroom is this beautiful mobile, which my mum and dad brought when they went to the Christmas market. So I think this was from the German Christmas market, but I love it so much. I wasn't keen on it at first, it, but it's grown on me and Oliver loves to look at like the little animals. So you've got a little monkey, you've got the zebra, the lion, Ovs the elephant and the gorgeous giraffe. And last but not least, his light. I love this light. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. That would make our day.